Well, boys and girls and everybody in between, it is a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Um, it's just quiet here in my apartment. And we got to talk the American Arena League right now. Um, it's still a mess. It always has been a mess, and it continues to be a mess. Um, there's been some things that have been going on, you know, that have just been like, why? Really, what in the world are you trying to become the American Basketball Association? Um, the new ABA, not the old one. The new one that started up in 2000. And it's like there's a team out in El Paso called West Texas or something like that. Like the West Texas Buccaneers or something like that. I don't know what they're called. Um, but they play out in El Paso. Really, you know, a team like that, you know, if they had the money, it would be more suited for, I don't know, the CIF. Because, I mean, considering, you know, the AL has been doing this Midwest, you know, sort of kind of East Coast type thing that they've been doing. And I don't know what in the world is going on. The website definitely hasn't been updated. Um, the AL website, the Tampa Bay Tornadoes are still listed on there despite having left the league. And, the, and it claim, you know, the AAL website claims that there's 16 teams, yet there's only 14 listed, and one of them's already gone. So I don't know what in the world's going on, you know. AAL has a history of just being, you know, absolutely terrible. Um, like, there's a reason West Virginia left. There's a reason Jersey, the Jersey flight finally got their act together so that they can go, you know, to the NAL. There's a reason for all this. And honestly, the AAL just needs to die. It needs to die. Kind of like how the ABA should die, but for some odd reason, it doesn't. It still exists right now in 2020. I don't know why it still exists. I don't know why, but it, it exists. And the AL should be the same fate, but I think, you know, at the same time, there's going to be owners and guys and gals that continue to put money that they don't need to be putting, you know, in such a low-level league like this. Like, this is just absolutely... Horrifying. There's been talks of AAL2. Why would there be a team in Tyler, Texas? There is nothing in Tyler. My sister lived down in Tyler for a long, for the longest time. I lived in Tyler for a little bit um, when I was a little kid. There is absolutely nothing in Tyler. And where would you even play in Tyler? Where would you even play? Like that was one of the cities listed somewhere. I forgot where, I think it was on Facebook or something like that. Where in the world, how, just how would you play in Tyler? There's no need to the Southern push like this. Like the IFL has Frisco now, and the CIF already has the rest of Texas locked up. So there's no reason for an AAL South or AAL 2 or whatever it's called. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and you know that San Antonio team that we, we've been talking about, the HMG, you know, I figured it would be an IFL team. Maybe it could be an AL team. Who knows? I mean, it's just like, wow. What in the world is going on here? This is ridiculous. So, that's pretty much all I've got to say on the matter. Um... Again, the AL needs to die, and I, I don't know what in the world's going on with the COVID league. You know, the streams are the streams that I do find out about with the Southern Steam are just god awful. Um, so there's that. But other than that, there is nothing else for me to say on the matter. I don't think I want to talk about the AL no more. It's it's just a tragic tragic situation.